three paints not listed are Citadel Colors Sheridan Granite, Denim Stone, and Awesome Paint Job Dark Sepia Wash. The model is first base coated in a one-to-one -one mix of heavy violet and black. While the base coat dries on the figure, a one-to-one -one mix of Sheridan granite and Denim stone is applied to the base. We start bringing out the edges of the armor with the first highlight using heavy violet. Try to use the side of the brush more than the tip. You will find it much easier to line stuff. The second highlight to the armor is done with a one-to-one -one mix of heavy violet and somber gray. In this scheme, the models have glyphs on the shoulders that are bright blue. We start this effect by drawing the design with a one-to-one -one mix of somber gray and heavy blue. While trying to stay inside of the previous mix, electric blue is applied to finish the effect. Black is then used to base all of the parts that will be black, as well as the parts that will be painted silver. Orange fire is then carefully applied to the lenses on the helmet. To paint the silver areas, the color gun is used. Bright brass is then used to paint other select metal parts.
with a loincloth denim stone is used to base coat. While that dries, heavy sienna is used on the leather areas. Add bone white to the mix to create a highlight color for the leather bits if you wish. Cold gray was chosen to highlight all the black areas using the edge highlight technique. My recipe of dark sepia wash is applied to the loincloth to help bring out some of the folds. The highlights on the loincloth are done using bone white, concentrating on the most raised folds. Blood spatter on the loincloth is done with a 2 to 1 mix of gory red and black. To create a base that complements the purple color of the model, an orange tone pigment called Natural Sienna is mixed with water and applied to the top of the base. To help dull down the orange, light slate gray, also mixed with water, is layered on top of the previous pigment. 